Breaking news, Jen Psaki plans to leave White House after a senile Joe Biden makes three dangerous gaffes. For God's sake, this man cannot remain in power. Joe was right twice, if he happened to catch his own reflection in the teleprompter, and talk about the murderous thug that is Vladimir Putin. But the White House immediately began walking back his statements as it implies support for regime change, which would be escalatory, with Secretary of State Antony Blinken saying, We do not have a strategy of regime change in Russia. And this was only the first of three dangerous gaffes. The next two might be even worse. Southeast um, Ukraine, but also the average citizen. Look at how they're stepping up. Look at how they're stepping up. And you're going to see when you're there, and some of you have been there, you're going to see, you're going to see women, young people standing, standing in the middle of the front of a damn tank, just saying, I'm not leaving. I'm holding my ground. Which sounds a lot like the U.S. is putting troops into Ukraine. More escalatory rhetoric that the White House had to walk back. White House officials are telling us that President Biden does not intend to send U.S. troops into Ukraine. And his last gaffe. If chemical weapons were used in Ukraine, would that trigger a military response from NATO? It would trigger a response in kind. We're going to respond to the use of chemical weapons in kind? So if they use chemical weapons, we use chemical weapons? Because that's what in kind means. The United States has no intention of using chemical weapons, period, under any circumstance. When asked about these three gaffes, he said, But what's getting walked back? It made it sound like, just in the last couple days, uh, it sounded like you told U.S. troops they were going to Ukraine. It sounded like you said it was possible the U.S. would use a chemical weapon, and it sounded like you were calling for regime change in Russia. None of the three occurred. So either he is so senile that he completely forgot, misremembered, or is lying, none of which are good options. It is absolutely critical to be precise with language. True international effort to pressure. As commander-in-chief of the strongest country and military in the world, there can be no room for interpretation. You, you interpret the language that way. And his gifts have been monumental. How else would you interpret what he said? He has lost the ability to articulate himself. And can you blame him? The man will be 80 at the end of the year and is flying all over the world, in and out of different time zones, giving speeches at times he would normally be in bed. He has the harsh job in the world and can't handle it. If you were alive for World War II, you're too old to lead World War III. Breaking news, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki has gotten so tired of having to clean up after Joe Biden, his numerous gaffes, it was just announced she will be leaving the White House and her job as Press Secretary around May to host a show for MSNBC on Peacock. It will also serve as a contributor on MSNBC's cable network. My only request is her show to be called Circling Back with Jen Psaki. You can circle back and I'll circle back. We will circle back with you and we'll, we'll circle back with you. Happy to circle back. This is all indicative of why the Democrats are in trouble in 2020. But you have to watch this next video if you want to understand why Republicans are going to do so well.